Hello everyone, Trent here, and I am back with another Fear Street review, as I have been going through, or we all are going through, Season 2 of Pretty Little Liar Summer School. Um, we are on Episode 3, I'm here to review Episode 3, and that is called Sweet 16, which is now available on Max. Because y'all know me, I'm going to try not to get into any spoilers, but sometimes I can't help it, so if you need to pause and go watch the episode... Please do so. It'll still be up. It'll still be here. I'll still be fierce. And I totally respect that. So, uh, again, we're talking about episode three of season two, Pretty Little Liars Summer School. Um, in this episode, the identities of the Pretty Little Liars is leaked online, and the girls rush to find out who is behind the anonymous calls as they keep Mouse's surprise party under wraps. The night of the party is near, and Tabby uncovers a disturbing secret. So, okay, so some of my thoughts. Was anyone else surprised that these characters are 15? I, <laughs> I shouldn't be. Like, I really shouldn't be shocked, right? This is kind of a, a horror trope of teen slashers. They're, you know. But I at least, I thought like 16, 17, maybe like turning 18. But no, these kids are 15. These are 15-year-old girls. I was shocked, even though I shouldn't have been. <laughs> I did really laugh at the moment when... Uh, Tabby tried to make one of her penny movie references like she does all the time. And then uh, Farron totally clocked her on it. I thought that was a really funny, clever um, character moment. And I thought, I like when this show does that. When the show focuses on the friendships of these girls, and that is when it's at its strongest. Um, I wanted a little more of that in this episode. But uh, we, we got some, we got some, and we got some action. I think those are the two strongest parts of Pretty Little Liars is when we're getting some of these, the more action, scarier scenes, and then, but also the character development and, and friendship moments. Um, so going off of that, the real horror of this episode and all of this whole series is how the boys are treating these girls. I mean, it is just like, wow, especially knowing these are 15-year-old kids, like, Wow, 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 wow. Um, yeah, so like when are we <laughs> going to deal with the problem that is men? I, you know, when will we deal with it? I don't know. Um, I did think it was a really clever choice to use Mouse's grandmother's um, memory loss as she's aging against Mouse to trap her in this third act in this, in this episode. I really enjoy. I really did enjoy the third act of this episode. I thought it was great, that creepy Chuck E. Cheese knockoff Five Nights at Freddy's, like, I yes, I thought that was a really fun set piece, a really w fun way to end the episode. And even though Mouse does have some obvious plot armor, because she is one of the f core group of friends, um, I was a little nervous for her, you know? I thought they, they did a good job at raising the stakes, and I wanted more of that in this episode just as a viewer, but I do understand this is a series, and so... This is a whole season, and we're not even halfway through the season yet. So I know they have to pace me. I get it. <laughs> but in the world of, like, Netflix where I can binge things, I just, like, I want more, I want more, I want more. Um, but, yeah, those are my thoughts. How many drinks am I going to give this one? Uh, this season is really ramping up really nicely, like I was talking about the pacing. It's going pretty well. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to see where who uh, – the, the rose red uh, monster person is who's behind the mask because I'm, I'm it, it has to be a person right it has to be a person so um, I'm giving this one 3.5 drinks three and a half drinks and uh, there'll be um, virgin drinks because these are 15 year olds so just putting it out there <laughs> but yeah I wanted more of this episode like the last act but I get it they have to pace this um, so yeah, three and a half drinks, virgin drinks, um, for our sweet 16. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Let us know. Let me know if you're enjoying the season so far. If you're not, let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you all for watching and make sure that you stay fierce out there.